And this again is a work in progress. So yes, that's super early. Like it's end of pre-production build. We are just starting production. So it's really, really, really far from, uh, from being done. But mm -hmm. one thing we really wanted, and you touch about it, it's really wanted to make sure that we nailed the ambience and not only the look, the mm -hmm. lighting, the VFX, the fog, but also nail that ambience, give you the feeling that you're in the Ishimura, you're inside those dark corridors. And not only it's in engine, it's actually in game. And here's my boy Isaac. So that rig, that armor, it's not the original, it's a new one, it's still <laughs> work in progress, it's gonna be improved a lot, but it gives a first taste at Isaac Clark. In, in the remake. Uh, look, here we are. Wow. Right. I mean, the lighting, everything looks phenomenal. The smoke. It looks this so is good. Very much what we should be expecting at this point from next generation graphics. It's really dead space, but like you never saw it, I think. Mm -hmm. So it has been almost 13 years, you know, since the original game came out, the original Dead Space. Why is this remake happening now, and what is what exactly is this remake? Can you elaborate on that? So, one thing that's important for us, and that's why it's for PS5, Xbox Series, or for or for PC, is that there is not. It's not about one thing. Like Dead Space is a super strong experience, mm -hmm. and so. It's really about... Also showcases this kind of next layer of where you're thinking about going from an improvements perspective. Just talk a little bit about, you know, where you're kind of seeing this move. We see Isaac kind of in the space right now, floating around the space, uh, probably going to show off some of his thrusters and, and, and stuff in a minute. Uh, I'd love to hear more about, you know, kind of where you're thinking about in terms of improvements in this layer too. So for us, Ray, going back to the original Dead Space, it was something that uh, we felt, so again, super early build, <laughs> that we felt we could, uh, we could actually improve in terms of, uh, of experience and immersion. It's the zero-g and how you would move around uh, in zero-g. And that's something that was really good and improving the experience in Dead Space 2 and 3 that we felt was really missing in, uh, in the original Dead Space. And so, that's why we, we took that mechanic of, uh, of flying around when you're in zero G and with much more 360 degree freedom. And now you can play that space and really feel you're in space during, uh, during those moments. And so also that's a mechanic that uh, we've started to, uh, to improve a bit on. Like for example, now you can interact as, uh, as you fly around, you can go into a, tighter corridors and those kind of things. But also, it allows us to revisit some of the old contents and create new ways to navigate new paths. Like here in the original, you would have gone back through that door through uh, where you came from. And here, it allows us to create new environments with eventually new challenges to surprise also the people that know the game and uh, will be like, oh, wait. What's that? What's that? <laughs> and now we're going to surprise you. So, so it's really delivering on the fantasy of being in space, making sure that we're able uh, to use that and revisiting all the places in the game, in the original, where uh, there was Zeruji, uh, which was the Superman jump back in Dead Space 1, and now applying full 360 motion and, and finding ways to, pro to provide... ...healing system that will be implemented into combat. Would you mind telling us more so, about the original system versus the new system and what peeling actually means? I, so, I think actually something that's very important, uh, as you can see with the feed, like it, it is definitely a gym, mm -hmm. uh, and, and it's intentional that we, we, we showcase this in a gym uh, because we're so early with it. Visually, we're not at the right level of quality where we want to achieve, uh, but we want to showcase functionality here. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to talk about, and, and what is the system that we have in mind for peeling, like you said. So obviously, same thing, it's a really early build. It's a gym. Everything that you see is work in progress. It's first implementation, a lot of VFX are missing. A lot of those modelization are not final and missing a lot of things like flesh tearing, etc. Mm -hmm. But one thing that is important for us that I just show, it's first 
of course, this membermment is back, and it's back uh, with all the depth and, uh, and fun you can have in that space. But one thing we wanted to, uh, and those are the only things, this, those are the things you can say only on that space. <laughs> 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 one of the, the things we wanted to improve uh, about, uh, about that experience is when you're using a weapon that is not a carving weapon, like something, mm -hmm. not like the plasma cutter. Plasma cutter is really fun to use. You can just shoot at anything, and uh, really you have that instant feedback of the limb getting cut, etc. But when you had a different weapon, knowing how much damage you were dealing to the enemy, how was he reacting, etc., it was not necessarily as visceral and as clear as the as the original. Mm -hmm. And so that's the thing we are working on at the moment, and we call peeling. It's basically that body destruction technology that we're developing that is allowing us to really remove, so at the moment, the flesh out of the, the bones of the enemy and to give you a good sense not only of gore and horror and ambience, mm -hmm. but also of how much damage am I dealing to that opponent. Is my weapon actually useful against this one? How close easy to die and that's something for me that is really interesting and so when we were speaking about why doing a remake and where can we improve those are an example of what we can do is that we don't have anymore to choose which feature we actually want to push mm -hmm. we can have dismemberment we can have much more precision and body destruction we can have seamless loading for the for the wool ship etc etc and that's something really really uh, interesting uh, for us and another thing that is actually really interesting is that system so again for the moment it's really early for the moment you're only showcasing it on the on the naked slasher, so uh, you only see it with the, the flesh, but of, of course later it's gonna support like uh, the claw, body armor, different layers, weak points, etc. But it also improved one of the core of shooting in that space, which is around the precision, and not only the precision of my weapon, but as an example, the precision of the plasma cutter. And so if I was to shoot, let's say, on that leg, then if I'm shooting here, I'm not going to cut the leg because I'm not shooting at the place where the bone is actually visible. If I, need to, if I want to cut that leg now, I need to be much more careful and precise in my aiming and in the shooting. And then for us, what is interesting is that it opened a whole new layer of, uh, of shooting and combat loop where you can have some weapons that are better at carving through the enemies, some weapons that are better at cleaning them. Oh, sorry for the mic. <laughs> some <laughs> weapons that are better at cleaning, the, at cleaning the enemy and removing the flesh and the tissue, etc. And that's something really, uh, really interesting for us. Anytime uh, Roman speaks about this member, but gets overly <laughs> passionate and expressive <laughs> about it, uh, <laughs> e even with the team internally. How detailed are so, we talking here? In terms of the body destruction, the peeling, it's going to be really super detailed, as we can see on that video. So that's uh, uh, the first, uh, first steps of that technology, if the video is playing, which is not, I think, at the, at the moment. Yeah. Yes, here we go. Uh, you can see that it's really super precise. It's exactly where you're aiming, where you're shooting. It's exactly respecting the shape of the of the projectile at the enemy uh, if it was fire you would see it going through the through the the body of your enemy and burning uh, and burning the flesh etc it's the peeling the, the that that uh, body destruction uh, system is going to be super precise in terms of pure dismemberment and then where you're able to uh, to cut the necromorph limbs here where we want to improve it because we feel like characters like the slasher for example it was already really deep in terms of, uh, of gameplay. Like they had different behavior based on whether you were cutting uh, the legs mm -hmm. or the head, whether they go berserk, etc. So here our goal is for enemies like Slasher, it's not necessarily to improve or make or give more precision where you cut, you can cut the enemy. It's more to try to extend that fun and that depth to other enemies 
that tend to be a bit lighter in terms of, uh, of dismemberment and, uh, and behavior, like for example, the infector or the brute. I like, can't wait to show you uh, when you get behind the brute and you start to uh, peel his oh back God, and uh, yeah. dig for, uh, for weak points. Oh, I can't that's, wait. That's the type of improvement we're, we're going for. <laughs> get, to the, get to the weak points. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I love the peeling of the different layers of skin down to the organs and bones, especially coming from a medical background. It, it's just insane to see. Uh, the level of expectation is very much up here, and, you know, we'll hold you accountable. <laughs> One thing that you, you might have noticed quickly in the, in the prototype, and that's something we, are, we're going, uh, we want to experience a bit more, we want to, to dig a bit more, it's when you actually cut... Uh, there was also one question and topic that was uh, prevalent throughout the community that we saw time and time again, and that is the topic of microtransactions. You know, they were apparent in Dead Space 3, so at this point, can you please be transparent and honest regarding microtransactions, and you know, if that will make an appearance in Dead Space 1 remake? So, very, very clear, no microtransaction, none no. at all. No, not like, at all. That's what I'm like talking about. <laughs> Already <laughs> in an interview, I think, yes, no, no, we don't have that in the remake. That's awesome. Good. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's good to hear. <laughs>